Hello friends, welcome back to our tutorial designing an impressive architectural building in Revit 2018 Metro. If you have been following along, go and open the file 00 underscore 034 underscore DIAB underscore M. You can also download this file from the website. Click the click the file tab and upper the mouse cursor to save as click project. Rename this file to 00 underscore 035 underscore DIAB underscore M. Click the save button. In the last tutorial, we greet the grid. In this tutorial, we're going to modify this grid to display well in our view. Select the grid number 2 and click the add elbow button and click this grid and move it down so that grid 2 cannot encroach to grid 1. Select grid I and click the add elbow button. Click and drag this bubble to the right to move grid I to the right. Select grid H and click the add elbow button. Move it to the right to position this grid nicely on the view. Now, when you look at this wall and this wall, grid J run through the core center of this wall while grid why this wall is away from grid Z. You may ask yourself why am I not going to align this grid to this grid? It's necessary some time to align if the difference is not much. That way it will going to help you if you're going to lay out this project in a real world. But when you see this wall, you need to go and see all the corresponding wall in the view. Go to the modify panel and select the align button. Select the grid, zoom out and click and select the core center of this wall to align this wall to this grid. Click the modify button. Now go to the ground floor view to open the ground floor view. Go to the project browser and select the underlay. Click the down arrow next to underlay and select foundation. Now you see the foundation on the background of this view. Select the align command. Click the core face of the foundation and click the core face of this wall to align this wall. Click the modify button. Select the floor and click the edit boundary. Select the align command and click the core face of this wall. Select the sketch line to move it to the core face of this wall. Click the green check mark. Click yes. Select on join. Click OK. Go to the first floor view. Select the roof and click the temporal hide isolate command and select hide category to hide the roof in this view. Go to the project browser and click the on change your underlay to ground floor view. Zoom in into this area. Now it seems that this wall has been aligned correctly. Go to the default 3D view in the quick access toolbar to see the results. Now the wall is being aligned nicely, but there is a problem that we need to correct. Click the X button to close this view and click on the I temporal hide and isolate command and select reset to bring back the roof. Select the roof, click edit roof footprint. This roof should be 750 from this wall to this wall. Now go to the quick access tool and select the align dimension command. Select the core face of this wall and select the sketch line. You see now the roof is 900. Click to place the dimension. Click the modify button. Select the sketch line and change this value to 750 mm. Press enter. Select the dimension and hit the lid on your keyboard. Click the green check mark to end the roof command. As you can see, all of these grids have been created in the foundation, the foundation view. But any view that you open, you see this grid. Select this grid and click the green check mark and click this and place a check mark to this box to add a box view and uncheck the bottom side of the grid. Click to uncheck, uncheck this grid, select and uncheck, select and uncheck, select, uncheck, select, uncheck, select, uncheck, select, uncheck. Continue to select, uncheck and check until you uncheck all the grid head on the right and below and place a grid head on the left and the top. Now go to the footing plan to see the same results. To solve all this problem, go to the foundation plan where you grid all of your grid. Zoom out, select the grid, right click, select all instance in entire project and go to the datum panel and click the propagate extent. This brings the propagate datum extent dialog box. 
place a check mark to the view that you want to have the same option with this view i'm going to select the i'm going to select the structural roof to roof one structural ground floor structural footing plan structural first floor plan and click the apply button now go to the first floor plan the grid is the same from the foundation plan from the foundation view where we created the grid go to the footing the same thing in the footing of course the foundation is the view where we created the grid go to the ground floor plan click into an empty area to get out of the plan all right we have just edited the grid this is how we want uh, our grid to look in the next tutorial we're going to we start to place the home in our project if you like this tutorial please click the like button and share it to your friends if you have any question or suggestion please leave a comment below if you want to continue this tutorial or any other tutorial on my channel please subscribe thanks very much for watching i hope to see you in the next class goodbye